it's actually usually about 75% of the students are like, I think this class would be cool. I'll just sign up for it and see how it goes. And I absolutely adore those kids. When you get the kids that don't know anything and they're just there to have fun and then you teach them the hard work is the fun, you actually get better students out of those students. The kids that don't know where their home is at a school and they're just taking a television class because they have to satisfy a graduation requirement for fine arts. I snatch those kids up in a heartbeat. All of a sudden you realize that Billy here is a pro at understanding the game of basketball, but he just doesn't play on the school team, but he understands all the stats and everything that goes with it. Well, he should be a commentator or he should be on the sidelines helping us direct that. Those types of students you find immediately. Or, you know, you have a a Sally who is really assertive and is a great leader. Those people are great dynamics for group projects or being in a environment where you need to trust a student. Every student has different potential. And so if you only capture the students that think they already know what to do or they think they know the industry and that this is what they want to be, sometimes those students have an air of, I don't really want to work hard because I already know kind of what's going on. But if you have students that are kind of fresh to the environment, everything's new and fun to them, you tend to capture more hearts that way.